In today's video, I will be making a coiled basket out of half inch filler cord and nine millimeter braided cord. You will need a darning needle and some scissors and I will drop a link to everything in the description box below. I am going to be using the color coffee. When you use this cord, always make sure you're starting with the end that has the knot. You will place one end through your needle. Make sure there are no knots. And then on the filler cord, have the one end that we're starting with cut at an angle. And then to begin, we will just lay this flat over the filler like this, just a few inches. And then begin to wrap. Make sure that it is nice and tight to avoid any little gaps when it's time to turn. Okay, that looks good like this. Okay, so now at this point, normally what we would do, you would close it and wrap, but we're not going to do that, or I'm not going to do that. You can do that, but that's not what I'm gonna do here. What I'm going to do this time is, I'm going to place that cord over the top of it. So once you have it going over, so it goes behind and then over, this is like the figure eight stitch. I'm going to pull it over again. So now I'm wrapping towards me. And it helps to close that gap right there. So I'm just holding it really tight and just wrapping towards me. Okay, once it looks like this, we will turn it again, like that. Okay. Hold it nice and tight. Now, I'm going to place it through the bottom. Pull. And now I'm back to wrapping away from me. And that's the way I like to wrap. You can continue wrapping where it's toward you. I don't like to wrap like that. It feels more natural for me to go away from me. So now I'm just going to continue to wrap. Pull this in a little tighter actually. Okay. This first part is always the hardest just because you have to make everything really tight. But once you get past it, it's pretty easy. Okay, I wrapped it three times. Now place it through the center and pull. And remember not to close your center too small like we normally would because you need to give it room to let this thick cord go through. Okay, pull it nice and tight. I'm gonna wrap three times. Go through the center again. Three times again. Continue this. I'm going to do one more through the center right here, and then I will start going under here. Here. 
Okay, so I'm going to continue doing this until I run out of cord and I will show you how to add another piece. Okay, so I am ready to add a new piece and I am going to leave this one towards the front, but like below. And then the new piece I will place on the opposite side, hold them both together and then just continue to wrap. And then I will just continue. So as you can see, I am no longer counting every three anymore when I'm wrapping. I am just wrapping until I get to the center of the two double wraps on the previous round. So right here and then right here and then I'll continue to wrap until I get to the spot right here. And that is what I will do for the entire basket. So I am going to do a few more rounds and then we will start the sides. Okay, so I finished the base and this is, let's see, how many rounds? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you wanna make sure that you have the same amount on both sides. And this is where we started counting because you can see where this right here is. This was the first round. So now I line it up right here. And so I just wanted to show you the difference, like this basket here that I made, the base is five and this is only two more rounds and it's such a huge difference because I am using half inch with the nine millimeters. So now to do the side, all I am going to do is I'm going to do my double wrap, but I'm going to bring this up so that it's like that, so that it's no longer flat and you have a few choices here. You can go straight over the previous round to make your sides go straight up, or you can go out at an angle. So this is basically where you start to shape your basket. I am actually going to do that extra wrap. So once you do the double wrap, take your cord, and instead of wrapping it over like we normally were, I'm going to take my needle and push it back through, pulling it. And it creates this extra wrap right here and then you take the cord in the back and you just wrap it around and continue wrapping but now I'm going to be pulling it up for the sides okay so that's what it looks like in the back and I will do it one more time real quick so let me just give us a few wraps okay Actually, that's all I needed was these three. And I will go ahead and do my double wrap. Okay, go right here. And it goes here. And then I bring it around, pulling this cord. Place your needle back under, pull it through. Pull it nice and tight and then just go ahead and continue wrapping. And again, pulling it towards you to start the sides. So I am going to do this pattern for a few rounds. I'm not really sure. I kind of like to just go with the flow and see where it takes me. So I'm going to do this for a few rounds and, and then I will be back to show you the next step. So I actually just did the one round like this with that extra wrap. And I decided I'm going to stop doing that and just do the regular wraps for the rest of my basket. So I'm going to continue now by just inserting my double wraps right in between all of these little notches that I have here. And then I will show you what to do next. I just wanted to show you that now I am going straight over the previous row so that my side is going to go straight, not out at any kind of angle. Okay, so to do that, just go directly over when you're doing your double wrap. Okay, so I finished four rounds. Technically, it would end like right about here. If you want at this point, before you come to that end, 
you would just cut this at an angle and thin it out a little bit and then continue to double wrap around the whole thing until you don't see any more filler cord. So I am actually going to do some kind of knot. So I will continue to just single wrap for a little while. I'm not really sure how long I'm gonna go, but basically right now I'm going to just wrap just this part of the filler cord without doing a double wrap. So I will do that real quick and then figure out what kind of knot design I will do. Okay, I didn't do that much yet, but I did decide that I'm going to cut this here. Okay, cut it right there, and then I will continue to wrap, but I like to cut it not too short because then you're limited to what you can do, but I like to cut it so that you have the end open and then you can decide like what kind of wraps you wanna start doing. So I will wrap a little bit more and then let you know what I do next. Okay, this is how much I have going on right now. And I will actually turn this around so you can see it better. What I'm going to do is, let's see, I think I will, I think I will go through here. And again, this is not planned. I'm just actually going with the flow. Oh, I did want to mention, have a few of these on hand if you're using these two materials together because I broke three of them. This is my fourth one. Just wanted to let you know that in case you only have one and it breaks. So let's see, I'll go through here. inside I will wrap it around actually let me go around the second so I'll go down here okay, pull this. okay that is nice and secure right there and then I will pull this in just to make sure that that white is not showing and then I will continue wrapping this. So I'm gonna carefully just wrap this around. Just pull it nice and tight. Okay, make sure it's nice and covered. Um, another thing I wanted to say actually before I keep going is I cut this really long for my last round because I did not want to have to add any more cord throughout the top row or for this design that I'm doing at the end. Because this is so thick, it does not cover as smooth. It's not like bad looking or anything, but I feel like it doesn't, it just makes it a little bit more noticeable compared to the thinner cord. So when I did this, I had to like really squeeze this tight to make sure that this didn't look too thick. So just a thought when you're doing your last row to make your last piece extra long. Okay, so now I will just continue to wrap this. And then I will show you what my next step will be. So I'm gonna just do the rest of this. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I tried something else, I didn't like it. Broke another needle. So I think what I'm going to do is put this with the cord, you gotta bring it with you. Through the loop, pull it all through. Okay, I think I'm gonna take this piece and see if I bring it through here. And then maybe I can secure it down here in the front and then trim off the end. Sorry, you couldn't see that. So let's see. Or maybe I'll just go out at an angle. That might be a little easier. So now I'm going to just bring my cord where it needs to be, first of all. And at this point, first I think what I'll do is I'll clip this here just to help keep it down and then I am going to this is where I'm at and I can fix this afterwards you can kind of push it and 
shape it a little bit when you're done. So what I'll do is I will just start going in. Oh, I need to get a little closer. So this little double wrap right here, I'm gonna go to this side of it. Push it to the front or through the inside. Okay, bring it around. Make sure there's no white spaces. Do it again. But now I'm on the other side of the double wrap. And make sure you're pulling it nice and tight so that this is nice and secure. Okay, I have one more needle with me and then the rest are in my mailbox. So hopefully I can get through this. Let me change my needle, I'll be right back. Okay, I got this one through. Okay, I will be back. Actually, I remembered I have these really long ones, so <laughs> let's see if this will work for me. Let me just cut this and make it a little easier to push this through. Okay, I'm actually going to take my little scissors and try to cut off just like the top layer. This really needs to be thinner so that it has a softer finish. but not completely gone. So let's try this and see if this works a little bit better. Okay, almost done. And you have to really hold this in place to make sure that it gets covered because it wants to slide over. One more space right here. So you have to like really hold it in place sometimes because the white filler really gets messy and wants to start poking through and then because if that if you don't taper it that much which I should have done more tapering. Okay so it took a lot of work to get that covered but it is covered so I'm happy with that and looks good on the inside. Had to really squeeze these last ones in just to make sure that that tiny little gap stayed covered. And that is one of the most challenging parts when you're ending this, but it is fine. It worked out and then I'm just gonna give it a couple extra wraps just to make sure that it is nice and secure. try to see if I can get this through with the crochet hook I might not be able to because this is so thick and everything is wrapped so tight but I will try my best okay I was going to go on this side but it was easier to go on this side so basically I'm just going to tie it in a knot Sorry, I know I'm not even showing you. Okay, so there, it is in a double knot. That's nice and secure, I just pulled it really tight and now I can cut this piece right here. I 
don't really love the knot because I wish it was nice and clean on the inside, but it's a good way to secure it. And I don't really like using glue. So that is it, it is done. Here's the front and you can really just like keep pushing this around if you want to, but I think that's good the way that it is. I highly recommend giving this nine millimeter braided macrame cord a try with these baskets. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.